So how do you entice uh, students uh, while keeping faculty interested? I, I, I don't see the duality there, but uh, I mean it's one and one. It's, it's, uh, I think I think uh, most of our faculty would uh, uh, entertain uh, creativity as an important part of what they're trying to accomplish. Um, uh, I, I think owning projects sounds like a pretty enticing thing to me. So I I, I think there are some pretty simple strategies when it comes to uh, uh, educating folks that um, I, I are think alluring. That the challenge, um, why, why it may be hard, and I don't know the extent to which it's hard for faculty, but to the extent that it's hard for faculty, that students may want it, but faculty may not as much, is that if you allow students to, to choose their own um, project or pursue it, you essentially are giving up control. And that is a hard thing to do. And, um, and I used to be, a horrible discussion leader in my classes and I still may not be great but the reason is because I was scared to let the students discuss and I would try to control it too much and it would wind up stifling the conversation and I found through trial and error that if I if I eased up some and just let them go it would sometimes go in directions that I didn't expect uh, and sometimes we'd go down blind alleys but more often than not, we would learn something that I didn't know beforehand and they didn't know either. And so you have to, in a, in a sense, kind of give up a little bit of control to get some advantage. I think in a traditional university system, there's another challenge uh, when you teach innovation, and that is that, um, like it or not, to a great extent, university uh, and structure is, is silos around particular ac academic disciplines. And if you look at innovation, innovation is actually very interdisciplinary. So a good innovation team will often have somebody who understands the technology, someone who understands the market, and someone who understands finance. As you know, as a general rule of thumb, if you look at a startup organization, oftentimes those are the first roles you fill. But it's rare that an engineering school, a, a business school, and a marketing team work together, and that that academics is set up as an interdisciplinary program as opposed to silo programs. So we want to teach marketing or we want to teach finance, but we don't always teach across those disciplines. I, I think that. You know, if, if we really want to move into teaching people innovation, we'd start from the ground up and say, all right, we're going to teach a very inter interdisciplinary way um, with interdisciplinary teams. Not yeah. to say that everyone must be an engineer, everyone must be a marketer, but that you integrate those teams a lot more constantly. Yeah, we, we, we recognize the importance of integration in a lot of different ways, right? Integrate teaching and, and research and service, integrate across the disciplines. and. And so um, we've just started um, a collaborative. It's called the Regional Transformation Council. And there's a bunch of deans and a bunch of disciplines. But we're, we're going to force the issue, right, that, that um, engineers and artists and, and folks from the business are in the same place. Well, have you seen what um, uh, v VCU in Virginia yeah, is yeah. doing with the Da Vinci program, yeah. where they're multidisciplinary across the art school, the engineering school, and the business school? Yeah. It's a very powerful program. It's the, those intersections are where it happens.